we've uh, got another great opportunity to have an interesting conversation around connectivity with our friends from Riddell. I'm Espen Brynilsson. I'm the Broadcast Sales Manager for Riddell Communications here in Australia and New Zealand. Excellent, cool. Uh, just off camera, we're having a very interesting conversation around how connectivity works between a variety of different vendors in the industry. So we're talking about from the Pro AV right through to the broadcasting. And in those industries, one of the big challenges you're having on connectivity is standards. Would you like to elaborate a bit more on that and where you see things going? Yeah, so I guess Riedel as a company, I've been with the company for close to 10 years now, and, and I've seen the company through the transition from mainly baseband connectivity mm -hmm. through to now everything in the broadcast side of the industry being yep. IP signals. And, and I think the important transition we've been through uh, with going to IP is the ability to basically play nice with other vendors and exchange signals. And key to that on the broadcast side are the SMPTE standards, so 702110. 2110. Yeah. So Riedel's been a, quite an early adopter of everything to do with the SMPTE standards um, because we realize that our end customer, customers, this is what they want. They yeah. want the ability to basically choose a piece of equipment for it to comply with the standards so that when they choose another part of their solution, as long as it complies with the standards, yep. these solutions you can exchange signals easily because it uses the same standards. So you're finding it really important to have that interoperability between the different vendors around the agreed standards of the industry, such as the SMPTE standard? Absolutely, and obviously we, we saw this before everything went to IP as well, yes. is SDI was uh, industry-wide standard. Was, so yeah. if you had SDI connectivity, you could connect to another piece of equipment and it would work. So it's sort of the same thing, but now all in the IP domain. Um, and, and so that's where we see things heading is, is open standards. And then I guess being here at, at Integrate and, and uh, more the pro AV side of things, we're seeing a few vendors pop up and starting to use more open standards like RPMX and so on. Yeah. Um, but hopefully there'll be more vendors realizing the value of choosing the same standards to base their solutions on so that you get more of the interoperability instead of having these little islands with the different vendors' individual standards. Yeah. It must be interesting to see how the standards that we set at the broadcast level filter down into all the other industries, and especially now that we're seeing it in the pro AV space. Absolutely, and IPMX I, I think is, is one that I'm certainly watching and seeing you know, what vendors are implementing that because that comes out of the AIMS Alliance and, and the SEMPTE standards. Yes. So the base technology behind it is, is obviously based on the broadcast standards. And I think if some of the major vendors come on board and start doing more with IPMX, I think that'll help the industry move more towards uh, an industry-wide standard rather than the individual vendors doing their own things. It is really interesting to see how with all the different vendors, they have their expertise and through these standards we can all connect together and the standards are allowing all of the vendors to come in with their great levels of expertise and step up to a new level of excellence around safety, integration, events. How's your experience been with that and, and what do you see inspirational amongst all that? So I think we've seen it in different parts of the industry with, with the audio side of signals. Yep. And obviously there's different standards that sort of ended up being the norm within different parts of the industry. So we're probably not quite there just on the audio side, but on the video side, it's, it's still much more segregated. So there's many more standards and, and so, so there's probably a bit more distance to go when it comes to getting to that point of everyone working to the same set of standards and being able to, to work nicely together. Epson, thank you very much for the conversation Likewise. and sharing your experience around connectivity. If you need help with some really complex solutions, reach out to the team at Riddell Sounds or good. reach out to the team at Rising Connection and we can help facilitate getting you in contact with these guys.